who you think you are, huh? You don't even know what's gonna happen to you. <laughs> <laughs> So this lady then, the lady of the forge, ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee high to a noken. But Sindri had never had it, said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> My bro, oh. I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece. But the one she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. Never got my highbrow sense of you. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in the men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I pulled dropped. Those fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of it. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it.
I, uh, uh, I, uh, uh. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Victor almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home. I got volunteers! What you doing? Put the fear through her paces already! That's the stuff! Ain't your first time with 
a spear, I reckon. It is the first weapon a Spartan learns. What well, hell? Think it's just like old times. Couldn't have put it more rewardingly myself. Great side, it's coming. <laughs> Pretty battle worthy to me. Let's see if she can help us get out of here, too. Up there, see that weak spot? Jam one in right there. That's it. Now do the thing. There you go. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack stabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Word his call to me. Guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Uh. Oh, lick my face! There's eyeball nests all over! Get your growing arm in here! <laughs> ah.
See there? He's starting to recognize when there's a weak spot. Setting off a spear in anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right and quick. the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. Lesson? Take note of that there, watch him a hoose. Get a decent angle and fling a spear into it head on. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. Period of time, perhaps. Mamiya. Oh, very well. <laughs> One of Nithog's children! <laughs> Put you in the trap! <laughs> scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatos group whenever you're ready. Suckler about to get clean! 
Set up shop over yonder. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. Yep, before you head off. That the way down. And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. 
The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. everyone. Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard. Sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours, he's everything I expected. So clever. Kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. That nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. <laughs> <laughs>